Hello everybody, and this is the new year of AIA 2015, hashtag new year, new me. All right, so basically I'm gonna have to move from this place anyways. Just like moving places every time. One day I'm in LA, one day I'm in Canada. I'm just on tour for my new band, The Krusty Whales. You should buy our new album. And for this week, we themed something called The Thing I Made Up. It's kind of like Janine's New Year's tag. She tagged me anyways, so I get to do it. And it's also kind of my confessions and secrets of 2014. And overall, that year was meh. If I had to pick a word to describe it, meh. And here I am in the newest location. I'm so sorry. Point here. And yeah, it's going to be my confessions and secrets about New York. New York. New York Wind Street Tomatoes. Alright, so my first confession about 2014. You know that one song that was, that like, I think it's called I Met You in the Summer and it was by Calvin Harris or whatever? That was my least favorite song of this entire year, possibly ever. That, that song, mm mm, mm mm, I just had a big problem with it. I could not hear it on the radio, I could not stand it on the radio, it was just a bad song whatsoever. But I mean, that's just my opinion, so. <laughs> Another confession, I had way too many crushes. He cute, he cute too. Yeah. One behind that curtain, yeah, you cute too. No. It got to the point where I kind of had to stop and tell myself one is enough or none is enough, you know. Bros before, <clears throat> yeah. not that, but you get what I mean. So, forever alone in it. Next for 2015 too. Yeah, sorry about the radio in the back, but like, I can't unplug it and I don't know how to turn the volume down because this isn't even my house and that's why this whole location is really bad because I'm in Canada, the land of maple syrup. Someone's probably on the other side of this door listening to everything I'm saying, but at this point I don't care. Also this year I was very crabby towards the end of the 2014, like, I became crabby in the point where, like, I had my own opinions, like, I began to now spread my own opinions like the independent little teenaged 15 year old girl is and sometimes I spread my opinion to the wrong people and fights were broken out and I got like, I got really snappy. Not snappy as that kind of snappy but like, no I did get snappy, I got crabby and snappy. Got to the point, yeah, where I would make other people mad and we wouldn't talk really. I probably lost connections with some people but I mean, it's part of my growth right, I'm just gonna blame it on that. Getting into another deeper subject. 2014 I found out that money does not make you happy. I had a good opportunity where I got to get like a good amount of money for a 15 year old from one of my relatives and, and then you know I spent it on the things that I wanted like clothes, more clothes, saving up, clothes, food. After most of it was gone I thought I would be happy and I really wasn't. I was still- it was a low point in my life but like I was not happy. And it's not until now I realized that it wasn't money. It wasn't <laughs> money and spending on things that you like does not make you happy. It does for a little bit but it's very temporary. It's not money doesn't make me happy. The safety net that it creates makes me feel comfortable. Living a worry-free life. I'm only 15 and I'm probably gonna get gray hair next year because I'm worrying so much. So technically what really makes me happy is not worrying. I also got to a point in my life where, where I asked myself that question about li living versus existing and I thought I was only existing because I didn't do what I wanted and I was too scared to do anything new and see what I like and try what I like and I thought since I'm a teenager I really can't do any of those things until I'm older but I did and it was this talking in front of a camera spilling out my problems. Now I'm here doing it and I love it. Yeah, I think those are all the things that I wanted to confess about 2014. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a happy new year even though it's already like three days past. Leave a comment down below on one of your confessions about 2014. Either something that was overrated, like a song or a person or a place. And I will reply back to it saying same or some uh, some stupid thing like that, I don't know. Yeah, I would like to hear you guys' replies and I will see you next Saturday. Why don't we just pretend Running in the snow is like running in a freezer and it's really weird.